All right, first and foremost, give all praise and honor and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and his son, Hamashiach, who some call Yahweh Shah, Yeshua, Yehoshua. We mostly know as Jesus Christ. I want to give a salute to a couple of camps and doctrines that I see that are going out. Uh, one, I want to salute. Uh, hold on. Hold on here. I want to salute GMS South Carolina. Oh, wait, GMS as a whole. Watch what the brother says here. Look at the title of the class. Hebrew Israelites, you will not be saved by keeping the law. I want to salute these brothers. I didn't know they, I didn't know GMS was teaching this. Um, I wonder if this is something that has evolved or were they always teaching this? Welcome to another video. In this episode, we'll be dealing with a comment. <clears throat> fair use, fair use. In reference to the law. So all praise to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Now let me tell you this: that brother up there is a brother named Alton Johnson, a Christian apologist. He really, for me, he need to go to seminary. He need to. He needs some more training. But he's out here trying to go back and forth uh, with Israelites and so forth. And I guess the Israelite hit the comments, uh, and the GMS brother is doing a video based off of. The comment that this brother left trying to correct this Christian brother. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. This lesson will be entitled Hebrew Israelites, you will not be saved by the keeping of the law. Okay? Hebrew Israelites, you will not be saved by the keeping of the law. Now, there was a video that I did. This one was entitled uh, Maniac Christian. Hebrew Israelites and uh, Isaiah 66 verse 17. Matter of fact, I have to apologize. This is his video. He did a video on that brother. And somebody's coming under his video. Okay. So we're dealing with this guy, Alton Johnson, who's a maniac Christian. But on the comment board, and these comments been coming through this week, you know, you had a... Peaches B. Georgia... I, I think you've been on my comments too. <laughs> oh, sis, you got to sit down with the word. You got to sit down and suck with the word. But uh, you need to find your organization. You need to, if you don't have an organization, you need to find your organization, and um, just sit down and digest and make sure you're going over what brothers are saying. I don't care who's saying it. If I'm saying it, he's saying it. The uh, Sakari, IUIC, whatever the case may be, you have to check after us. We don't know everything. We make mistakes. Uh, we're learning. People making comments. Now, this one, I believe it's from a sister, from a lady. I won't call you a sister. I'll say from a from an Israelite woman running off at the mouth, okay? So, from Peaches b georgia 1125 this is the comment brother i'm surprised at your nonsensical teaching you are doing a lot of quoting paul whose word are you going to follow hashem our creator well first off the heavenly father's name is not hashem hashem just means the name okay so that's not the name of the heavenly father the name of the father is yahweh his son is you don't want to do the name thing with GMS. All right. If you ain't saying your how about Shimmy Howl Shy broke a thumb, uh, they at your neck. Name is Yahweh Shy. Anyway, the person says, Whose word are you going to follow, Hashem, our creator, or are you going to follow a man? Well, the Apostle Paul said, Follow me even as I follow, you know, Hamashiach Yahweh Shy. And the Lord sent forth prophets, okay, men endowed with his spirit or endue with his spirit that we should follow them going on the person says well y'all can go watch the video i just wanted to shout the brother out um you know shout gms out uh and the elders um i didn't know they were teaching that uh what else are we doing uh chiefdom i also want to shout out Want to shout out uh, Gorilla Hebrew? Y'all go to his site. He Gorilla Hebrew versus Doctor Richard Carrier. He did a debate. Did Jesus exist? All right. 
Dr. Richard Carrier is a heavyweight when it comes to that atheist community and wrote several books. Um, I thought he wrote a book saying Jesus did exist, but I, know, I never read any of his work. I only know him because of that brother Garfield who is um mediating that debate. Um, but it was a cordial debate. A uh, gorilla Hebrew held itself uh pretty well. You know, a lot of stuff just is gonna be thrown out to the side. But if you want to see a good debate on wanna see an Israelite debate, Richard Carrier, go over there to Chief Dome um and watch that debate all right without people going crazy and in the ad hominem attacks and all of that you know it's a couple slick dishes but um all in the form of debate you know what i'm saying nothing that was too tacky or uh, out of the spirit um so i salute the brother for that and again this brother debated a lot of heavyweights uh, james white dr browns and i don't know if he debated james white but he probably definitely has spoken with him um but he has done these things again i disagree with some doctrinal things with it but uh and i'll come down when i have some doctrinal issues i'll say something but uh i also got to salute brothers too i also got to give brothers they flowers when they out there uh representing uh yahweh shy and, and yahweh um in in good light all right so i just wanted to do that real swiftly um then my honorable dimensions <laughs> my honorable dimensions uh for this week rather and uh with that i'm gonna say shalom y'all be blessed